and we're here at the Charlotte County Tax Collector in Punta Gorda to see if they respect our First Amendment right to film. And they're flying the American flag. Trespassed out of most of the places I go to. I ain't, I ain't going nowhere with PDF no more. Damn more. He's bad luck. <laughs> you get trespassed? Yeah, they told me I can't be in their videotaping and they trespass me. Yep. I think there's certainly anybody in there yet anyway. Yes. I was just getting some information. Yes, yes, this is the best number. I think there might be one or two more things I want. Right now. Yeah, they say garbage they're can anywhere. They're saying that if I don't show ID, they're going to arrest me. But 901.1 so. statute states that unless I've committed a crime, about to commit a crime, or have committed a crime, I show ID, and they don't understand that. So they're threatening me with arrest right now. It's a corporal from His name is Litigant. And all I did was, um, um, I was documenting, I came inside this tax place, I'm documenting just what I do, working on a story, and then the security guard didn't want me here, he told me to leave, he called the police, the police showed up, it's and just because the security yeah, wasn't here, or what was that? Sure, it's Charlie in Florida. If I if I broke a law, I don't mind giving my ID, but I have not broken a law. I was just not a one point five. It's not even that. It's illegal yeah. for him to detain us to get an ID for trespassing. Jesuits first state. <clears throat> Court's already decided. Yeah. Was it plumber? Uh, was it something plumber? Uh, no, the gentleman was outside of a bar, and oh, they tried to detain him for a trespassing warning, even though he was already outside the bar. Right, and mm -hmm. The guy went in his pockets, and there was a like a baggie with pills in it, and they arrested him, and the judge threw it out because he said the officers had no... Well, it was in plain view, wasn't it? Well, yeah, he had to go down in the in plain view, well, right? Right, but <laughs> even the fact of the officer detaining yeah, him was illegal because yeah, a trespassing yeah, yeah, right. warning is a civil violation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Thank it's you. not criminal. Thank you so much. We're going to help. Thank you very, very much. All right. I'm going to go find a garbage can. So we're not being trespassed. Not right now. You're going to be, we're asking you to leave. You don't leave. You're going to be trespassed. Okay, well, I want to be trespassed. 
Okay. You provide your ID, we'll trespass you. I don't provide you with ID. For trespass warning, what are we supposed to provide? John Doe? Jesuits first state, the Florida Supreme okay. Court has ruled that it is unlawful for an officer to detain somebody to give them a, uh, to get ID for trespassing. You want to take a minute and look it up? No, I don't need a minute. Je Jesuits first state. No. Yeah, that's the same guy that tried to trespass me as John Doe earlier. But that, my point is that this is America. Hey, I did that, John Doe. <laughs> just acquiesce. Just, just give in to them. <laughs> no, they know what's best. We would have been gone already if they wouldn't have detained us. Two o'clock appointment for Julius. We would have been gone already. They shot the tank. They shot the tank. They shot the But what if your feelings are really, really, really hurt? I don't, I don't know. Uh, the one here, this lieutenant, he, the one showed up here. What was, that? What was the lieutenant saying? Uh, he kind of like 
Yeah, at the other building, they just they just told that they're that, that they're not IDing, and it was fine. That's what according to what they just said. And we were over at the uh, sheriff's office just a little while ago, and you were there and they had nothing to say, and so it's just you know, it's so it's, it's not something that's enforceable. The FDFC, you know, it's just not enforceable. I I and said I, I, I don't said, see you guys get in trouble for this. I really don't. It's not it's not cool. What to show up at a Monell Act when your uh, your department gets sued and all that money was going to go to your raises and your your stuff, your weapons, your armor, and all that stuff, and then people like us come in and challenge this because it's unconstitutional, and then it goes away from you guys because there's no qualified immunity, which means in two to five years when this actually settles, it's going to cost you about twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars out of your pocket because it, there's no qualified immunity. On it. You know, and, and it's not fair. I have friends that are cops. It's not, you know, you have that decision to make. That's you. Well, they can, they can afford it. It's not like having a mortgage or anything. It's not like they're paying off a mortgage. So. Working on the story. The security is never like that always filming. So it just kicks me out. And this is a mortgage. You know, we pay for this building. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just commenting with you, man. You seem all right. So, I'll talk to you. Ah, perfect. I think he's asking if I didn't have to write the law, why am I getting an ID? Nine oh one point one five one. Oh, did I just well oh. that quick? Oh my god, I already told them nine oh one nine one five one. They don't care. Well, I know, but it goes beyond that. We're we're talking about McDonough and Rundle. We're talking about uh, uh, Smith versus City of Cummings, the right to gather matters of public interest. Case law don't make a difference. Time, place, and manner. Case law, you know, precedent, state statutes don't make a difference. You know, they if they made the wrong law, if they made the wrong law up here. So. <laughs> yep, that's a lieutenant's car. Yep, yep. <laughs> Yeah, I almost got you too. Good 
good. We got a cop watch. <laughs> yeah, I almost got. Yeah, I took. I almost took two out. Two out of there's that one shot. That's the way it should look, right there. You know that. Yep. Except. <laughs> you guys get any citations for your truck signs yet? Nope. No, they're, they're not. Apparently, they're, they're, they're selectively, yeah, so they're selectively enforcing that one. Well, I mean, you guys are hoping to catch a citation. Well, either way, it goes good for us. Either we catch a citation or we're just proving that Andy's proven that Huh? No, no, he, uh, he. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he. <laughs> no, he he's uh for the cops. He's hundred percent for the hundred percent for the cops. Huh? Yeah, yeah. All you do is this guy is all you do is got the run to talk. Talk, talk, talk. This guy's so money. How much money would you steal? How much money would you steal? How much money would you steal? Yeah, I was wondering. Yeah, James, could you keep an eye on this right here? I'm going in, going to go into it. Yeah, she said no filming, so. Give it to him, Big Daddy. Where are they, where are they going? Uh, uh, I think going to tell somebody how it's going to be. Can I get a citation yet? No. They're selective, selectively uh, choosing who they want to violate. Alright. They were just in your chat. Oh, you like that? Huh? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, those no no words. Is yep. that considered a no no word? I think you got an extra letter in there somewhere along the way. She heard you guys want to go inside? Let's go inside. Is it open to the public? It's, ro it's roped off, so. No, it's good. I don't get triggered like that, though. So I'm an activist. I'm not trying to get back to the city attorney. They try calling me on the Yeah, it's on the third floor. Up here? Yep. I was, just, I was just up there. They're going in. Oh. James was up there. Yeah, I'm okay. How you doing? Good. How about y'all? Why? Huh? Okay, you can't record in the city building. No. Bam, I'm good. Alright, well, I. I can't trust that that camera's on, that camera's on. Well, I, I just want to go, so they're good. So, they can stay here. I'll okay. Go. Thank you. Well, uh, I need to do a public records request while I'm up here, yeah. too. So. I, okay. Is the city attorney's office here? Because I actually yeah, legal is up to get in touch with them. They tried calling me, and I've been playing phone tag. Yeah, with it's them. upstairs. It's a little bit different because we all pay money. Yeah, I am agreeing with you on that. We're just disagreeing about the more. And then we feel this identified. Because they shouldn't be able to do that. You've broken something. You've smashed something. You've committed an ordinance violation. Right. That's a violation. That's a violation. Okay, but it's that's not. Look under 901.15. It talks about ordinances. It talks about statutes. It talks about felonies. Did we have an ordinance that was like seven years ago? Did we restricted people? Where did you pass the ordinance? Yeah, it's awesome. Around here. 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 Yeah, this is the guy that just passed us. This guy is, and I think he was one of the ones who wrote that warning ticket out for the way, just like for the sign. There's, there's another parking spot over here in case you didn't want to block the street. Go ahead and block the street, huh? Makes sense. I was walking and I was trying to buy and it was on the sidewalk and, and I even apologized to that piece of shit. Yep. Got a they put him in the PC. PC. We're out, DC. All right. William Garrett. We're walking back to the car shed.